Tonight's project is going to be from the Christmas in July's uh, release. Hello, Donna. Um, my favorite, I, I love the Christmas in July release. There's, I pretty much love everything in the release, but my favorite is the tear tray. It's kind of near and dear to my heart. So I really was excited to be able to, um, to show it to you tonight. Hi, Donna. Hi, Tina. Hi, Candy. Oh, Candy, you made it. I'm so glad. Well, I think we should get started. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my phone. So I'll just show you some of the other things in the release really quick, and then I'll get going on the uh, on the tear tray. So first and foremost, you can see right here, and we are going to use this tonight. This is the Ho 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 stencil, and I'll just show you what it looks like up against the black background. Love this. Such a fun stencil. And... This is, so mine are not gonna be in their regular packaging because um, I did samples. So we received the samples that they, they get and they're not in their packaging yet. So same thing though. This is the Snowflake Swirl set and we are going to use this cute sentiment from that. This is a really fun set. You can use it, look at the way it's sized. You can use it for pretty much any anything from a tag to a scrapbook page and you've got all kinds of options with that. And I love that it'll look good on a slim line. It'll look good on, like I said, a tag. Um, this is on an A, I didn't end up using this, but this is just A2 size. So this is a really fun one. Really pretty to do um, resist and embossing with. And then this is the Nutcracker Parade set. And I have to tell you, I, I told Michael, I kind of joked around with him because honestly, I have not always loved Nutcrackers. I think sometimes they're really creepy. I gotta be honest, but I love this set. I think they have cute little faces and I had fun creating with this one. Um, I could get all my cards, but I, I won't go grab them. I, I, you can see them on Instagram and Facebook. They're coming up for the next little while. This is the Christmas cacti set and I think this is so much fun too. Especially because I've, I've been living in, uh, I've lived in Arizona, I live in Texas, so cactuses are just kind of, I guess cacti would be the proper way to say that, are just kind of fun. And um, Then of course there are some other things in the release that I don't have. What was that? Gina loves that record. Oh, Tina, I hope I didn't offend you. I I love our nutcrackers. I just Tina think sometimes they're creepy. Set, and yeah. that snowflake stencil. Oh, yes, you definitely do. And there is a snowflake stencil that's called Snow Flurries. I don't own that one. Not yet, I should say. <laughs> also, there is another die set, which I will, I'm sure, do... Um, alive at some point with that, or at least make a card with that. I did order that. That is going to be here tomorrow. And I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything else. I feel like there's one more thing. Oh, yes, the poinsettia. The poinsettia, poinsettia, poin I never know if it's poinsettia or poinsettia. You guys will have to let me know. But anyway, it's gorgeous. There, There's it's a Sandra, great stencil with that. Who said that? Lynn. Lynn, thank you. I'm glad that I'm not the only one that thinks that nutcrackers can be creepy. <laughs> okay, so the tear tray. The tear tray. This amazing set. Oh my goodness. I told Darren, I was like, um, so very, very graciously, Christopher and, and Michael. Tina said she meant the staff, not the stencil. Snowflake stamp. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, either one, you're not going to go wrong, Tina. The stamp or the stencil of the snowflake are both gorgeous. So, Michael and Christopher graciously allow me to have some input here and there where, um, when, well, and Darren too, when we are just have ideas. And I love that they are welcome to that. I, I really do. I really do love that. That's a kind of fun, fun thing in our job. But I thought, oh my gosh, I think it would be fun. I've seen all these tear trays, 
all over Instagram. People are decorating them for all the holidays and stuff. And I thought, I have not seen a die set that did that. So I mentioned that. And then Darren, I was so impressed with the way he designed it. I think that he really did a great job. So you can see it comes with all of the things to make the, the little tear tray. And then you've got all of these little Christmas decorations. And my understanding is that you will be seeing more sets of things that you can put in your tear tray. And there are things you probably already have as well. I was looking at the cute um, homemade lemonade set and I thought, oh, it'd be cute just to do little lemons or something. If you wanted to make a little card like a well, like somebody got a new house or something, wouldn't that be a cute, a cute way to use that? So we're going to use this today for our card and we'll just start working. Let's start playing. You don't want to hear any more about that. <laughs> I will show you a couple of cards that I made with the tear tray. The tear tray. Idea. So these, thanks, Donna. Ellen. Ellen. Yes. Ellen, I'm so sorry. I was really off on that. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> Theresa says hi. Hi, Theresa. So these are the cards that I made, um, and the one that we have today. I'm not even sure. I've got lots of little pieces cut out, and I kind of have a plan, but it's still going to be kind of like whatever we feel in the moment. Um, you can see how the tear tray goes together, and then um, you've got all of these little fun accessories. So let's let's get playing on that. So I'm going to start out by making our background. Let's get that out of the way real quick. So I'm going to use our ho 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 stencil and I'm just gonna do an ink blend I'm a little nervous about this honestly of everything that I'm doing tonight this was making me just a little bit nervous because I probably should have just done it ahead of time and seen how it looked but because the trays are gonna be fairly busy I'm like Ooh, I hope this isn't too busy but if it is it is we'll just we'll figure something out but let's see let's see how we do so I'm going to start down here because really we're not even going to see the bottom. So I can kind of get that first initial bit of ink off so that I don't get any harsh lines. And I'm going to go fairly light on this because it's just our backdrop. And I am using Later Gator ink of Simon Hurley Create ink. If you've watched me very often, then you know that that ink is one I definitely favor. It just blends really well. And our paper, our perfect blend cardstock, I seriously could never go back. It's just, it works so dreamily when you're using it for ink blends. It's great for, I'm a real fan of coloring with colored pencils and it works really well with blending on that. Works well with alcohol markers, which is what it was kind of designed for, but it just, it's just a great cardstock. So we're kind of ombreing it up a little bit. Not like a super severe one. Huh. We may do it more severe by the time I'm done, but I'm just trying to make the top especially be just a little bit more subtle. Let's see what we've got. I should mention I'm using the stick and stamp mat, which makes it so that I don't have to tape everything down. It makes it really easy because it's sticky. My stencil is sticking to it. And my um, paper is staying in place because it's sticking to it as well. I want it a little bit less subtle than what I've got. We do want to see it. So we'll just kind of and a little bit here and there. That will probably do it. Let's check it out. So there is our Ho 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 background, which I think is really fun. We'll just kind of set that to the side for a minute. I think that'll be subtle enough. That's the fun thing about the stencil too, is you could go really bold, you could make this really stand out, or I like how it can just kind of blend in and give you a nice texture for a background because this is pretty subtle, so. Ellen said she loves her mat, makes things so much easier. Ellen, isn't it nice? I agree, I enjoy mine too. It really does. It was a game changer for sure. Okay, so now 
I've kind of organized my die cuts a little bit so that I can remember what I did. <laughs> we can actually just add this. This is just kind of giving us a like a countertop or something for our our trays. And I am going to try to make a little trio of trays. So we'll see how that works out. So I'm just going to use some of my tissue tape really quick. Has anybody started their Christmas crafting? If so, you're way on the ball. My goodness. If you haven't, now's a great time to get inspired. There's a lot of... Tina has Christina. Christina, Christina. Oh my goodness. I have to tell you, you've got to try it. You have got to try it. I love Perfect Blend cardstock. It is a great blending cardstock. I sent her the link. Oh, thank you, Darren. Darren actually is putting up links. You can click on the links and it'll take you take you to everything that I use. Um and I do want to thank Darren for moderating. I, I forget sometimes, and he's so, he's so nice about it. But I couldn't do this without him. He's amazing. So we can actually just get this out of the way, too. Let's just put the whole thing on. Tina yeah, said you could use the whole hole upside down and say, oh, oh, oh. That's true. You could, you could make it uh, say, oh, 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 Tina. Okay, so we're going to just start by dumping out this little tray. I did pre-assemble the light. Okay, so I'm going to kind of bring out the, make sure I have the right side. Yep, I think that'll be okay. Just kind of laying it out so I know what I'm working with here. Bear with me for one sec. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to take is the base. And that's this little piece. It's got the little feet on it. And I will show you, um, I believe these are on the website. So you've got this graphic that shows you how everything looks when it's put together. And then I think this graphic is on there. I sure hope it is, but this is helpful too because it kind of shows all of the dies together where... Um, where they're near each other so you can kind of tell what goes where, okay? So we're starting with these pieces right here for our base. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue. And this Barely Art glue, I'm telling you what, when I'm doing stuff like this, where I'm doing lots yes, of little tiny things, is awesome. this is awesome. What is awesome? The bow. The bow? I like the bow too, Tina. I've used it on several projects already. Christopher I could... says hi. Hi Christopher, how are you doing? I was just telling everybody that I love the entire um, Christmas in July release, but this set is, is just a little near and dear. So much fun. Okay, so now Right now it looks kind of like a weird toaster or something, right? But this piece right here is going to change everything. Look at how that changes the whole look. I'm telling you, how Darren knows how to do these things, I don't know, because my brain does not work like that. I used to work as an engineer for 25 years. Darren uh, worked with engineers for 25 years. So, I guess that's why he thinks like that. <laughs> All right. So, with this little skinny rim right here, you're going to be really grateful for that little fine tip on the Barely Arts glue bottle. And then I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on the stand part itself. 
And I did it after just because um, that little rim Here's is so thin. Say that again. Oh, wow. Okay. So Christopher is offering a $25 gift card in a random drawing uh, for anyone. We will uh, put your name in for anyone who shares. We will put your name in the drawing for a $25 gift card. So heavens, definitely share. Thank you, Christopher. That's so nice. I said, oh, Christopher's going to choose. Okay. Christopher will take care of that. Thank you so much. That's going to be so much fun. Okay. So like I said, you're going to love that little fine tip. Kelly says hello. Hi, Kelly. How are you? On your Barely Arts glue. It just makes this part so nice. And we'll get that second tier to our tray. So I usually line up the bottom. He says he'll choose tomorrow, Shannon. Remind him. Okay, Christopher's going to choose the winner tomorrow. So that gives you a little time. And, uh... Kelly said she's late for the party. Hey, we'll, we like having you whatever time you get here, Kelly. Okay, so now we've got our two trays. It's starting to look like something, right? Candy said before you put on that piece, so you can use this for a tear tray or like candy said you can use it as a Roomba <laughs> we do like to get the most mileage that we can out of our dies right okay so now you've got a choice now so there's this piece right here that creates kind of this fun little um I don't know topper I, I don't know what to call it handle and so if you want to add a little more height you can put this piece on if not there is an alternative which I will show you on our next set of trays because we are gonna do a little trio of trays because I just like things in threes not always but I just thought it would be fun today so I could show you the different options. And there's so many things in this little, I say little, but this die set is huge, um, that I wanted to be able to have the opportunity to show you a good number of them. So we needed more than one tray, I thought. Okay. So now we've got one full tray all assembled. So you can see we've gone through all of this and we didn't use this piece because that's the piece we're going to use on the other one. And then you've also got this little circle that uh, we're going to use for our little ring. And you could get adventurous and do, you know, you don't have to go with silver or gray or black. I noticed all of my trays are more in the neutral tones because I go crazy with the accessories. That's where I put the color but you could do the opposite, or you can just be all around colorful. So there's our first tray. We'll just kind of set that guy on here. Hey, Jan, and that wagon paper, the wood grain paper would look good. Oh, the wood grain paper would be cool. It's called Farmhouse, I think. Okay, also, I do have these set aside that you can put Kara says hi. Hi, Kara. How are you? So this one, I think we'll end up putting the lights on. Or, yeah. And you've got them for... They work for both. So we'll just kind of... We'll just kind of lay that out like that for now. Just so we kind of have an idea. Okay. So I started this one a little bit because I've already shown you this. So I just wanted to... And I even have this one up to that point. I'm just going to show you, this is the other piece if you don't want to have the topper. So this is going to make it so that we can have two different heights for our tear trays because we don't want them all the same height. That would be pretty boring, right? Lynn, Lynn said she loves the lights. They're so cute. Oh, Lynn, I think they're so fun too. The glitter stock, um, 
really makes fun festive little lights. Okay, I almost have this. I just want to make sure I have it on there fairly straight. Because I'm, you know, I'm like that. But I don't want to fuss too long because I know I could. <laughs> you know I could too because sometimes I do. All right, so we'll just kind of make sure that's fairly centered on there. She's really into stencils right now. Oh, Lynn, I love stencils. I love stencils. That You definitely need to check out the new releases because there's a ton of them on there. Right up your alley. Okay, so now we've got another tray and then i'm not sure we'll use this one it just depends on how it looks but i i just Janet, yeah slide your card to the right a little bit we can't see it all. oh thank you we should be okay now okay i'll just move all of these little guys sorry okay oops oh that's still this okay so i do have this other little tray and it's just the top tray because um, yeah, I don't know that I like it. I don't think we need it. Do you? Kara said she needs a set so we'll bad. See. Oh, Kara, is it not so fun? I agree. This is a fun set. So I was thinking that we would do three. I mean, I really just sold all the whole how I like threes, but I'm not so sure that I like three on this. I'll have to think on it for a minute. We do have a little, um, chalkboard that we can stick on there we can actually just put that on the top I of our tray we can put it on the bottom we can put it there but we'll play with this but if if I start playing with it and I don't like it I reserve the right to change my mind as always okay so let's let's start filling this tray up let's see all of the little goodies so we've used the little lights um and I'll just show you what those look like. There's the little string for the lights. You can see we've got a snowflake, a candy cane, a little bow. We've got a jingle bell. Um, I did use that on this card. You can see how cute it is when it's all put together. Um, we've got our gnome and our little trees. And the trees have a little stand. I don't know that I'm gonna use it for this card, but it is really cute. And also all of these things, you don't even have to use them with the, um, the tear tray, you can use them on their own. I actually have a plan for a few cards that I wanna try out. But this set is definitely one that you're going to want to put in your crafty arsenal. All right, let me just add all of my little goodies because at this point, I need to see what I have. So this is what I was originally going to do was just fill this bottom one with the big ornaments and now I just I need to need it, huh? we'll see Darren does not like it I so far <laughs> I haven't decided I haven't decided yes or no yet I have to see everything on there and then I'll know I think we can put some candy canes. Let's put the candy canes on this side. And then let's assemble our gnome next. So our gnome starts out with this little base. And then the next thing we'll do, we'll just put his beard together. There's two pieces. You could go with a big contrast. I just went with a really, um, subtle contrast i just used a really Kara, light gray right go oh thanks Kara. Kara will be up for the uh 25. okay so i just went ahead and layered the beard and you can see like i said it's just a subtle difference i can probably see it um it probably doesn't show up a lot on the camera but Lynn you'll just have to trust me home. Oh, Lynn, this set, I'm telling you, this is a fun one. We're speaking your language tonight. Okay, so now let's add our little beard. And right now he looks kind of crazy, but just trust me, it'll come together. So now 
we're just going to add his little shoes, the bottoms up of his shoes. So we Lynn might says need. She's a newbie, so he definitely caught her attention. Lynn is. Lynn, yes, Lynn Johnson. Well, Lynn, welcome. I'm glad we caught your attention. Penny says she's crafting with her nomies tonight. Crafting with your nomies. I love it. <laughs> so then we've got our little mustache, and I did the, the little bit darker, just the really light gray on that one as well, just so it didn't blend in all the way with his beard. And we'll put that about right there. It actually, if you follow the lines on the hat, that's where it's placed. Looks like I missed just a little bit on the beard, but that's okay. Nothing too severe. Plus he's wearing red clothes, right? So it's not going to matter. I'm probably the only one that would care. <laughs> All right. So now we'll add his little nose and I gave him a little pink nose. Nose like a cherry, right? And then we'll put, cause he's kind of a little Santa gnome, right? And now we've got his little snowball at the end. So I'm not sure where we're putting him yet, but he's gonna go somewhere on our card. I was thinking I would put him down here, but I'm still not even sure about that tray yet. I'm that The verdict is still out on that. So we've also got these little bows. We definitely need one there. And I think we might want one Maybe right there. And I'm still playing with the ornaments and the other goodies. Let's see what else we got. We've got all of these cute little trees. And Andrea you. Said she loves gnomes. Who said that? Andrea. Andrea, gnomes are cute, aren't they? They are just really fun. You can find them with just about any personality that you can imagine. All right, we might move him to a different spot, but let's. Let's see what we got for a minute. Okay, so now we'll just add a little tree up here. And these are fun, like you, um, on this card, I made them look more like uh, bottle trees, the little bottle brush trees. So you can do whatever you want to the trees. These ones right now are a little, a little tame. We might have to do something to those, but Let's see where else, what else we want to add. I think we'll just add, let's add another snowflake. I think we need one on this side. And then I think, I don't want to get too much on here because there's just so much going on, but that's part of the fun too. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's just so many fun options. We could put this over here or we can just not. I think maybe we just will not on that. And do we want more trees? That is the question. I'll put them over here for now. I definitely think we need more baubles, though. Let's get Kara some. Kara, it is a fun one, isn't it? We're getting there. It's one of those things you kind of have to play with it till you till you feel like you've got it. I'm still not sure about this. I think it just kind of gets lost. So I think maybe we'll rearrange a little bit more. Do we want anything behind him? If we do that, then let's switch this out. Definitely, you just have to play until you feel good about it. I think that looks pretty good. I'm surprised I didn't use more trees, but I think that if we get too much more on there, you lose all of the details. So, let's call this good for this and let's start attaching things. This says looks great. Oh, thanks, Lynn. I think we need to make it um, come together now. It's time to get this thing put together. Now that we've got it all laid out. All right, so this is the scariest part of, st of lives for me, is trying to stamp a sentiment straight <laughs> without smearing it, without anything like that. 
if you'll notice, a lot of times I use the little conversation clippings for that very reason. True confessions. True confessions. So one of the really cool things that I love about this is this um, Merry Christmas. I haven't tried all of the all of them. Let's try it right now. So it looks like Happy Holidays is a little too big. Yeah, you could get away with it though. Um, Merry Christmas fits perfectly. In fact, I think both of the Chris Merry Christmases do. Yeah, they both look pretty good. But I think we're going to go with this one. Because for one thing, I've used it. And I'll be able to see where it goes. Because <laughs> I used black. So we'll just kind of, we'll stick with that. We're going to go with the safe bet tonight. But I definitely encourage you in your craft room to not always go with a safe route. Try something new. Jared says that stamp is amazing. Isn't that cute? I love all of the fonts and all of the cute Christmas sentiments. And, the, and this uh, beautiful snowflake. Oh my goodness. I had fun with that. Look what it, I did with it on the uh, tear tray. It just made the perfect backdrop. Super easy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my little, if you haven't been with me before, this is just a, a extra stamp block I had and I just made my own little pressure tool just by putting just a little bit of felt. She said she loves that pink. Who said that? Ellen. Ellen, isn't it a pretty pink? I agree. But um, I love that color. I love, I love pretty much most colors. The only color that, is not one of my favorites. Should I should I divulge this, Darren? Is I am not a huge fan of rust, but I even think rust can be pretty when used in the right way. But if I were picking colors for something, that would probably be towards the bottom of my list. I love copper. I love um, a lot of other colors. Aw, oh, thank you. Who said that? Darren? Who, what? Who was it that said that? Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Okay, so we've got our little sentiment together now. And we'll just have that kind of hanging she out. Just said she's had her heels over the straight in all its elements. Isn't this so fun? Oh, I like it too. Okay, I'm glad you guys like it as much as I do because I just think it's such a fun set. And like I said, the possibilities are just amazing on this. Okay, so let's assemble. We've kind of got that all laid out. I think we can just scooch it to the side. I think the hardest part of this one is going to be the lights. So let's do the delicate work of these lights first. Kelly said she loves that font. Kelly, I love this font too. I think it's really cute. Okay, so we've got our first row of lights on, and now, hopefully I'll remember what I did with that tray, because I thought I would, and then I pulled it all apart, and now I'm like, mm. when I was a little girl, my mom used to dress me in red all the time, because red was my mom's favorite color, and I was kind of a brat, I gotta be honest, I was like, I resisted red because she always made me wear red. And now I absolutely love red. And I think it's one of my better colors. So it's like, well, she knew what she was doing. <laughs> you never appreciate them when you're young, right? I remember I had this great big red parka. Like it was like this big, like it was long, like it went down to my knees. It was really cute and pretty fashionable for the era. But, um, it was different than other people's coats. And so I didn't appreciate it because I just wanted to be like everyone else, you know? And my teacher thought she was being funny and she would tease me about my coat and she'd tease me, tease me that, this is like in first grade, tease me that if people came in and like they'd gotten wet from recess, she'd be like, oh, we're gonna have to make you wear Shannon's coat. And so for whatever reason, you know, kids, I just was like, I hated that coat. <laughs> 
My poor mom, she put up with a lot. <laughs> and I know she was probably so excited to give me that coat, so it makes me feel bad now, but live and learn, right? Let's put our little bow on there. So we can put it at the top or we can put it here. There's a lot of different options, which I love. And then let's just actually put our tray on the card. It'll be easier to do all of the rest of it if we do that. Thanks for bearing with me as I get everything put together. I did try to do a little prep work so that it wasn't too tedious, but there are just a lot of fun little pieces to work with here. Oops. I kind of like tucking it under, but I didn't catch it quite quick enough. All right, so now we can put our other tray on. And this time, let's just put the tray on right away. It looks like my tray got tilted a little bit. We're gonna put that guy behind that. So you also can use um, little foam dots and foam squares to change the um, depth at which you're putting things on. But I think if you're going to do that, you kind of need to do it with the tray itself too, or else it'll look like it's coming off of the tray. Does that make sense? All right, so now we can put our snowflake over here. I just gotta remember how I had this. So we've started a new routine at our house with, with the dogs. I go to bed a little bit earlier. We started. <laughs> Darren says, we started. Um, so I'll go to bed maybe a half hour or so earlier than Darren. Because I don't really let my dogs on my bed during the day or anything. But they're just so cute and snuggly. And I just love them. <laughs> and so <laughs> we have like a little bit of just cuddle time at night when I'm just like reading and um, just kind of winding down for the night and Darren's so nice. He just lets me kind of go in there ahead of him for a little bit. And so my dogs get I me mean, all to themselves for about a half hour and they know, they know exactly what time we're going to go. And they are so funny because last night my dog was trying to get me to go and I was, I was doing stuff. In fact, I was crafting and he just kept trying to get me to go to bed and I wasn't paying attention to him. So then he started trying to get my other dog in on this. And so he grabbed my one dog, Louie. He is not really much of a toy player. He doesn't play with dog toys much, but Buddy loves his toys. So he's he went and grabbed Buddy's toy and ran to, to my room with it, trying to get Buddy to go. And I was just cracking up because it was so obvious what he wanted. He wanted me to go to bed. He wanted bedtime. And it was just funny. And Buddy was just kind of like, meh, I'll go when I want to go. <laughs> They're funny. Okay, let's put this on a card base. If you uh, didn't already know, I'd like to tell you about, uh, these are the Perfect Blend card bases. They come in A2 sizes, they come in slimline sizes, and they come in 6x6 six six sizes. Love these. Okay. Dara said the, sandy, the candy cane sequence is a perfect match for this set too. The candy cane sequence? I'll have to look and see what ones those are. But yeah, isn't that fun? Look how fun. And even though, like I said, I mean, there's lots of little pieces, but it's still, we got it done in under an hour and it was well worth it. And I personally suggest when you're cutting things out, this is a great way to use up little scraps, especially I am really, I hoard my, my glitter stock because I just love it. So if you've got a little piece of glitter stock that still has some to it, just cut out a bunch of things and put them in. I put mine in with my dies sometimes. I haven't had this long enough to do that. Or you could keep it in, I have little cups that I keep things in, but um, that's a great way to hold on to your dies. One thing I am gonna do, and I will show you right now, just because sometimes I think it's fun when 
when I do have those moments when I'm live, if I mess up on something, I, you know, I'm human. And so I like to show you what I do. Like, you can see that there's kind of a, a dent where my tree is. And I don't like that. It, it's obvious that it's not standing up. So I'm just going to take one of my other trees that's the same size, and this will take the depth high enough that that's not gonna bother it, but it won't bring it out so far that it looks like it's coming out off of the, tr the tray. Does that make sense? So um, I always like to tell people, you don't see all of my boo-boos. I mean, I'm, I'm showing you what I've already hopefully planned out some. You know what I mean? Venus said her husband is laughing at your dog story and wants to know what kind of dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have um, a Maltese. That's Louie. That's the one that wants me to go to bed and will do whatever to try to get my attention. And then our other one, um, he is a rescue that we got, he's kind of, I guess he's a mutt, but he's adorable. He's, he looks to me like he's got a little bit of, um, what was it that they called him? It was some kind of a terrier. Ah, uh, for some reason, North, n North something terrier? North, yeah, Norwich or something. Norwich? Oh, I can't remember, but when I've looked at pictures, he doesn't really look like that. He kind of looks... Like, his body shape is more of, like, a, a Jack Russell, but he's colored more like just that one solid kind of coppery color. So, I don't know. But they're my buddies. <laughs> they're my, they're in my craft room right now. They follow me everywhere. Darren calls them my paparazzi because they follow me everywhere I go. So... Lots of love. What was that? Cards getting lots of love. Aw, thank you, guys. And then I'll show you Louie. So, he does not love to be helped, but this is Buddy. Are you a good boy, huh? He is hilarious. So if you know what uh, breed he is, go ahead and tell me, because I don't even know. But I, uh, Darren, it took me forever to convince Darren to get a dog. I wanted one so bad. And for Mother's Day a couple of years ago, he let me go get a dog. And um, a good friend of mine helped me to pick him out because he volunteered at the animal shelter. And Buddy was actually the first dog that I saw, but I had Benji with me. And you know, at that age, they don't want to wait for anything, right? And so he had a little sign on his cage that said that he had to have surgery and stuff before he could go home. And so I was like, oh, he's probably not an option. But in the end, we found out he had had the surgery the day before already. And so we were able to bring him home. And it was, we were just, it's definitely a good match, huh? <laughs> he's pretending he's too cool to be on TV. Or not TV, but whatever, video. Let me grab Louie. Come here, Louie. Guy. Louie yeah. probably needs a bath. Said, but this is Louie. Say hello. Are you saying hi? <laughs> and he is my other little buddy. And he is not too sure about being held either. They will sit on me. They Buddy will wait. He, he likes to sit by the arm of the couch. And he will sit on my shoulder. If I'm sitting close to the to the arm, if there's no room for him, he'll he'll sit however he has to until I move. He is just that stubborn. But yep, these are my my cute little puppies. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope that you uh, enjoyed seeing the all of the different Christmas releases that I had, and also I hope that you were inspired to create something of your own. And maybe you're getting some ideas for your Christmas projects. And I will see you next week. I have something in mind for you next week. And I'll be here at the same time. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye.